Hi, and uh, do you use sunscreen? Do you have a good sunscreen? And when you use it, how often do you reapply? When do you use it? And those are the questions. Uh, if you're not using sunscreen, I would recommend that you would start. Uh, even if it's not sunny outside, we should use sunscreen. Uh, the damage from the sun usually comes 10, 20, 30 years later. So we pay for <laughs> when we had that coconut oil on when we were young. That's what I'm paying for now. So, oh. So two really good sunscreens from Epions that I recommend is the uh, Daily Shield and the Ultra Shield. So Daily Shield is tinted, the Ultra Shield is non-tinted. Uh, I prefer the tinted one during the day because when you put on sunscreen, it's very psychological. So when you have a tinted sunscreen, you actually put on more and a better layer because you want the skin to have an even color, right? That makes sense. It's like putting on foundation. You want to have it even. You don't want to be like super blotchy. So I use and this Epion's during the day, it's SPF 50 and it's tinted. You get a really like dewy look from it, which is nice. Um, the Ultra Shield from Epion's, uh, it's SPF 50 as well. Um, it's clear or it's a white cream, but it's obviously clear when you put it on. It's very affordable. It's like $26 for really, really good sunscreen. Uh, it's recommended from uh, the Cancer Foundation there too. You can see it on both of these boxes um so the ultra shield is uh, white or it's clear but it's not that sticky at all like it's very moisturizing i usually use this one uh the ultra shield um the clear one or the white one when i'm out walking in the mornings because i want to cover my face even if i have a hat and sunglasses i always put that on put it on my neck and my decolletage in case you know i have an open sweater or something like that as mentioned, uh, with the Daily Shield, the tinted, you will get a dewy look from it. And it's also, uh, it's more like a bluish tone to this compared to the Tiso, which I also love, 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 uh, have a more like yellow tone to it. So I'm gonna show you. This is my Epions, and this is how it looks like in color. So you see, it's a really, really nice color, but it's on the cooler side um, and little goes a long way, as you can see. So do you know how much sunscreen you should put on your face? Do you? Uh, not a lot of people do actually, but you should put on one teaspoon. That's the amount that just should go on your face. So when you put that on, put the teaspoon, you can take out a teaspoon if you want to, or just put it on your hand and, and then massage it in. If it's the white, um, white one like this one, that's white. But as you can see, when I massage it in, you know, the white color disappears, of course, but when you massage it in in your face, that full teaspoon, don't forget, it's one teaspoon. So when you massage it in in your face, you probably have a little bit of residue, like you see that I'm a little bit whitish on the hand there. You let it soak in for like a minute or two, and then you massage everything um, that you still have like on the top of your skin layer. So that's how you put on sunscreen. Not a lot of people put that much sunscreen on. And uh, that's why it's really good with the tinted sunscreen for your face, neck and decolletage, because you will definitely put on, if you squirt out the teaspoon <laughs> in your hand and then you apply it everywhere, then you want to have an even layer. So you actually get the right amount of sun block on your uh, face. Okay, so you might ask yourself like, why should I have a sunscreen on my face all the time? Because it helps you not to age and it helps you not to get cancer. It helps you not to get uh, premature wrinkles, um, pigmentation, you know, name it, just aging in general. So a sunblock will actually 
and block the rays off your skin. So this is the UVB and UVA rays <laughs> that comes to your skin and they will be blocked off immediately. I prefer a sunblock. I always recommend sunblocks because I think they're a little bit better and uh, better both for you and for your skin. And this is a sunblock, have titanium dioxide and zinc oxide in it. Broad spectrum and that means that protect from both UVB and UVA rays. These ones are also uh, water resistant up to 80 minutes, but I always recommend to reapply before then. If you're out, you know, with your kids or if you're out with your friends or you're playing in the water with them or you're out exercising or if you're just, you know, laying on the beach but you're sweating, um, I do want you to reapply a little bit more often than that because you don't want to get red. That's UVB, UV burn, UVA, UV aging. You don't want either of those. So you can get red from the UVB, but you can also get super old looking from the UVA and we don't want that, right? I also wanted to add that if you're coming into us and getting skincare treatments, say um, skin tightening, microneedling, facials, peels, you're using Retin-A or Triple Lightning creams, uh, you need to use a sunscreen all the time because these treatments build up the collagen and the sun breaks it down. So if you're not using a sunscreen, you're kind of throwing away your money a little bit because we're trying to build up your skin and then you go out without a sunscreen it will break it down again. So sunscreen is kind of mandatory when you're coming to our office if you're gonna do a treatment. So if you don't have a good sunscreen, you know where to find them. Uh, you can buy them, of course, at the Laser Image Company, but you can also go to our online shop at thelaserimagecompany.com and in the upper right corner there, it should say uh, shop in the menu. So you can just click on the shop and get them there. So. This is the Epion's uh, two sunscreens that we have. They are amazing. Do not forget your sunscreen.